Have you ever woke up and hated everything about yourself? I have, this morning. <laughs> I hate everything about myself today because I couldn't get my eyeliner perfect and then I couldn't get my eyebrows perfect. Um, and then I put my hair up in these buns because I, after the makeup fiasco, I didn't feel like straightening my hair. So I put them up in these buns and the left bun is looser than the right bun and um, I just want to end it all. <laughs> But anyway, hello my beautiful friends of the internet and welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween where every single day in the month of October I do something spooky, scary, or Halloween related and today we are throwing a Halloween party. This is my how to throw an epic Halloween party. I'm using the word epic very lightly because I'm not gonna pretend that, you know, this is gonna be the best Halloween party ever, but um, it is my best and what I can provide. <laughs> How to throw an epic Halloween party, sort kind of sort like on a budget, limited, you know, uh, you know, I'm trying my best here. This is how to throw an epic Halloween party, period, exclamation mark. Step one to throwing an epic Halloween party is to put on some scary stories and put your hair up. Uh, that's what I do every time that I start to go into step two. So you have to make sure something's going on, something's playing, something to keep you distracted as you are cleaning. My favorite thing is scary stories. Clean the inside of your house and also the outside. I've been cleaning the inside a little bit here and there because honestly if I just do it all in one go it gets extremely overwhelming. Uh, and then I also have to clean the garden area in case we want to have a fire pit after the party. And that is, there's just all kinds of dead plants. I'll insert a clip of me cleaning that up right now. Okay, so me a few seconds ago was very confident in myself in going to clean the garden <laughs> all alone, uh, but now I'm really scared say I have a huge fear of snakes and we have had several in our backyard so now I'm very scared and I don't want to go out there by myself so uh, I'm gonna wait on Cody to help me with the garden but I don't know when that is so um, just imagine the garden looking pristine and then also what is included in cleaning the inside and outside of your house is making it smell good. So we have to change our little scentsies and light our candle. Step three is to put up the remaining decor. So um, I did buy a few more things from Dollar Tree. I even bought this really cool wall border to go over our wall border that we already have, which says live, laugh, love. And I absolutely hate it. And I have just been too lazy to scrape her off or to redo her. Um, so I bought this stuff at Dollar Tree that just goes up on the wall. I'm not really sure how it works just yet, but um, I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> but hopefully it covers our little Live, laugh, love, and looks amazing. This lighting is like really, really bad, uh, but I'm going to be covering this up right here. Um, there's also a bunch more around behind you that you will see later, but we're gonna start here first and see where it takes us. Okay, okay, okay. Cute. <laughs> I hope it covers up the live, laugh, love, because it feels like it's a little see-through maybe. Okay, so they do not have any stickiness to them, so I think I will have to use Tape. What do we think of that? Does it look like shit? No! She doesn't look bad. Okay, I'm gonna place some tapes in between, like, to make sure she stays up. Probably more on the end, too. What the f is that? Ew, ew, there's a huge spider. I don't know where he came from, but please. He was like in this whenever I like moved it. Now I did all of this and I still have to do all of this. <gasps> Wish me luck. One eternity later. Okay, so I had to put you all on charge. Uh, Cody is doing dishes, so sweet. And this is what our wall border is looking like now. <laughs> so I did all of this. <laughs> Cody um, cut it, 
put this out with like an, what is that? An, why can't I? I'm so tired, I can't speak. An X-Acto knife. So all the wall border, the live, laugh, love is gone, thank God. Now Cody and I also bought a bunch of these, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna place them. I placed one kind of hanging in this little window area. You all can kind of see. Uh, I don't know if she'll stay there, but I just put her there for now. And then I have these two already out that I think I'm going to put here on the back door, like one on each door. And I just clean the windows so we can put these up and also our bloody hands. So now we have our bloody hands and keep out. I have one more pack of hands. Um, I don't know if I'll put them on the other door or where I'm gonna put them, but I need to figure that out fast. But now for the rest of these like little raggedy cloth things, I think I'm gonna put them up here on this ledge. That way this looks a little creepier because I feel like it just looks kind of boring up there with like just a palm tree. Say so we need to spruce her up a bit. Okay, so I may fiddle around with it later, but this is what she's looking like now. I may fiddle around with this one some more, I'm not really sure. Um, but this is what all the draping looks like. See, right here looks super spooky, so I think I'm gonna change that one up a little bit. But I mean, this isn't bad for just a dollar tree, you know? Like, everything was a dollar. A dollar, a dollar, a dollar. A dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. A dollar <laughs> and my wall border was also a dollar I bought three packs only used two so that's two dollars not bad not bad now also with remaining decor I got these little guys he hangs here super cute I have another one over there and uh, Cody and I a few days ago we put up red light bulbs and some of the hall lights just to give it that spooky scary ambiance that we are craving um, we also have a fog machine too and we did test it out and it does stay pretty low lying um, until it kind of dissipates like people walk through it and stuff uh, then it just sort of fades out and floats up a little bit more but for the most part it stays as low as it can I guess <laughs> And then step four is to set up your game. So every year I do a murder mystery for everyone. And usually in the past, I do have a video on my channel from last 31 days of Halloween that is called free Halloween games. And I normally go on Pinterest and find some kind of murder mystery that is free for me to use. And normally there's like printables that you can get out. And um, it's kind of like a murder mystery scavenger hunt usually where I hide suspects or weapons or whatever all throughout the house and everyone has to figure out who killed whoever. Kind of like Clue, just live action scavenger hunt edition. Um, but this year, we have a board game and we have to hide the weapons for that board game. All right, so I have this murder mystery game that we will be playing for the Halloween party. Like I said before, I used to get free ones off of like Pinterest, but to be honest, I think now I have kind of ran out of those options because I use so much of them already. Um, but Cody and I found this at Barnes and Noble. Um, it is by, wait, where's the? Talking Tables is who it's by. And it also even has a Spotify playlist in here that you can scan the code. So it has the accurate or like a music theme while you're playing this murder mystery. And these are what the weapons look like. And I'm just gonna hide them all throughout the house. But I won't show you all that because I know some of my family members watch my YouTube channel and I know that they're gonna try and be sneaky sneaky and figure out where I hid these. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to hide these around. And like I said, it has clues on the back of them for everyone. And then I also just wanna show you all that we are having a costume contest. So I made these on camera 
Canva and then I printed them out and cut them up but um, it's just little cards for the costume contest and this year we're gonna do five different categories for the costumes because usually we just do a best overall but my mom actually was like why don't we do like categories so, like more people win and I was like why didn't I ever I just never thought of that it's so smart brilliant so um, we have funniest scariest prettiest best couple and best overall so I'm so excited these were so cute like I said I used Canva and it was free and then I just printed them out and cut them up then this other game that we play is called I call it pass the pumpkin I kind of just I mean I'm sure I didn't make it up but like I didn't see it anywhere I just thought it'd be something fun to play but I'm sure it exists <laughs> but um, I just call it pass the pumpkin and everyone stands in a circle and we pass this pumpkin along with the monster mash music and then whenever the music stops whoever's holding the pumpkin is out so and then the last one to be in the circle wins the prize and this one's always a big hit because it's just kind of fun and fast and you know just people get to win some fun stuff that's all of the games that I have for us now the last thing we have to do for our murder mystery game is make a dead body and I am going oh, oh. I am going to be using Cody's work jumpsuit and I shall be stuffing her with beach towels. Does <laughs> this work as a head? Now I have this bloody tablecloth that I'm gonna lay over him. Um, I got the bloody one just because I thought it would look cooler. It looks like he's been like really murdered, you know? Yay! It's also kind of creepy. Okay, does that kind of look like a dead body? It's got a little bit of a short torso, but... I guess that's fine. Then the last and final step is setting up your serving station for the food. Um, I don't have the food yet, obviously, because it's a little early. This is like a few days early, just to let you all know. Time, time check, <laughs> timeline check. Um, I don't have the food yet, but I can set up my little serving station. So um, we first need plates, dessert plates, napkins, more napkins, dessert napkins, silverware, then we need cups, and I got these solo cups, or I just already had these, uh, but I actually bought some really cool ones from Dollar Tree for some of our like cocktails and mocktails that we're gonna be having. They're so cool, the skeleton hands, and my little poison beaker, I'm super excited about them. I also got this like skeleton thing that has the three compartments. I'm gonna use that for fork spins and knives for the serving station. Um, and then I have this serving thing, it's like a longer burger, um, and I always put the plates on the bottom one, napkins on the top for people to grab, and then in front I will set our silverware for everyone so they can just grab their plate, napkin, silverware, and then head on to the food. Then I pretty much just lay all the food and drinks out on this countertop. We kind of have like a buffet style kitchen, which is perfect for everyone um, to just grab their plate here and then just walk along, grab all their food and their drinks down here at the bottom. I also want to show you all very fast what the house is gonna look like at night, actual party time. Like I said, the party's not for a couple more days, but um, I wanted to show you all what it's gonna like really look like. is how you throw an epic Halloween party. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very much. So proud of who you are as a person, what you do every day. And make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff because I'm gonna be here every single day in the month of October doing something spooky, scary, or Halloween related and you don't want to miss it. And yeah, love you and I'll see you all tomorrow.